the election is over, and one thing is clear. Many voted for Trump because they just didn't want Hillary. Not necessarily because people like Trump, obviously I'm not speaking for everyone. All I'm saying is, don't call half the country deplorables if you expect them to vote for you. So unless most people are wrong and Trump actually does a good job as president, everyone is going to be thinking about the next election sooner than you think. And sooner being right now. So who is everyone rooting for already? Now that it's pretty clear that pretty much anybody can be president, here are some of the top choices. Oh. By the way, hi, I'm Charlotte. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, this is Inform Overload. We talk about the news. Don't forget we respond to users' comments at the end of our videos. I think we all need a break from talking about the candidates of this election, so let's talk about the next one. Obviously this video is just for fun and it's just hypothetical, so let's relax in the comments a little bit, okay? So according to the internet, there is one very clear choice, and that choice is Michelle Obama. After Trump was elected, the hashtag Michelle 2020 began trending on Twitter. Many wanted their first woman president, but I think many more did not think Hillary was the right woman for the job. First of all, Michelle Obama is classy as she is one of the most beloved political figures in recent history. It would be very nice to have a president that everybody loved, wouldn't it? Well, maybe not everybody. The problem with this choice is, Michelle has no agenda, and she's repeatedly said that she will never run for office. According to her husband, the president of the United States, Michelle does not have the patience or the inclination to actually be a candidate herself. All right then, now that that's out of the way, what about Yeezy? I know a lot of people are talking about Kanye West being president, but like, are we actually serious? Kanye has expressed his desire to be president on numerous occasions. Kanye tweeted this illustration of himself in the Oval Office wearing an Adidas business suit. Kanye also has his own trending 2020 hashtag. I mean, Kanye and Trump are similar in a lot of ways. They both love Twitter, too much, and they both have said some pretty ridiculous things. One thing that Kanye said that did make sense though was this quote during a BBC Radio 1 interview. When I talk about the idea of being president, I'm not saying I have any political views. I don't have views on politics. I just have a view on humanity, on people, on the truth. If there's anything that I can do with my time and my day to somehow make a difference while I'm alive, I'm going to try to do it. Well Kanye, I think that if you want to make a positive difference, why shouldn't you run for prez? By the way, if you ever see this, can I can I have those Yeezys, you know the beige ones? <laughs> Thanks. Next up, Katy Perry. Now I know you guys are like, WTF, why is she even on this list? Okay, Katy has been very involved in politics and this election. She supported Hillary with so much passion that she cried backstage when Hillary lost. She also blocked out her Twitter page. Katy joked about running for Prez last year with a post on Instagram that showed her sandwiched between Bill Clinton and George W. Bush. I feel like that would be a very stale bread sandwich. And the internet is also very supportive of Katy running for president. All right, lastly, perhaps my favorite choice, Mr. Bernie. Bernie Sanders. Whatever happened to Bernie? Good old Bernie. Many are saying that he actually probably could have beat Trump, but reports are saying that the Democratic nomination was stolen for him and that the convention was rigged, including Trump himself. Trump himself said this. Mr. Sanders was for closing the inequality gap, creating free healthcare and education, a living wage, taking on racial inequality, and fair immigration policies. Sounds friggin' awesome. I think he would have been a great president. But his campaign was completely the opposite from Trump. So whether or not he would have won over the country, we'll never know, unless he runs in 2020. Sadly, good old Bernie will be 78 by the next election, so running for Prez again is probably going to be pretty unlikely. So guys, which was your favorite? Who do you think is right for your country? Obviously, again, this video is just for fun, so let's keep the comments lighthearted, shall we? Speaking of which, it's comment time. Jerry Vasquez said, can you act slutty at the next video? Hello, welcome Tyo. My name is Charlotte and thanks so much for watching. Is that slutty enough? Next comment comes from J Money. Charlotte, why are you so hot? Genetics? <laughs> Next comment comes from Mallory Macklin. When I grow up, I want to be just like Charlotte. I'm 36. Um, that was honestly one of the more funny ones. Thank you for that. I had a good chuckle. Disaster27 said, I got the bleach. Who wants some? Me! You? You want some bleach? You want some bleach? Hey. You want some bleach? Last comment comes from Zeviar Norman. Thank you, Charlotte, for your comfort of those affected and in tears. I'm really glad that some of you are not so triggered about my stance on the election, and it makes me happy that some of you are comforted by what I'm saying. At least there's that, right? So thanks for watching this video. My name is Charlotte, and I'll see you all in the next one.